Secret going against evil geniuses here. Puppy kind of infiltrating here. Going a bit deep early on. Holds that early sentry ward right now as he Let's pokes the towards courier. Sumail. I mean, the courier's coming. He looks, he should be able to get it here. A little snake creeping on in. It. Puppy's Puppy. in position. Here he's he goes. He's looking to make his move. He's going to get the courier. Hi, he's got it. Dyer. Got it. Easy work right here from Puppy himself. One hit with a Blightstone, huh? Wow, okay. All right, then. Weaver. So. That's pretty legit. All right, Fog, tell me, how crippling is this now for Sumail in the mid lane having to deal with this? Because it looks like Puppy's not done with this mid lane yet. He's going to start coming in and really tickling Sumail. Sumail and might actually just die here. Are you serious right now? That Sumail's going down first blood to Puppy as well. Takes the courier, takes the first blood, takes the initiative for secret. Crit's close, but I don't know how much one whisk could do to help him out. He goes in right away to help him. That's going to be the burrow. Puppy's in there as well. They already turn it back. He's going to be able to get the takedown to Kazoo, but it's going to cost them their crit. And now they're going to turn it right back into RTZ. This will turn into a two-for-one trade. Go into secret. Puppy claims a double. Actually, there's a TP coming in. Now if I could be breaking out to get the quick, quick takedown of the Sand King. And now crit is going to be caught on the other side. RTZ back behind the tower here. Now caught between three or four secret members. Could lose his own life. It's the magic missile off, but it's going to be too late for him. It's a two-for-one trade. Go in the way of secret. Yeah, Sumail just seemed like he wanted to go for his own, like stay in the lane. The yeah. four of them should be able to pressure that tower. As long as oh, they big the jump and the bomb, and they're going to quickly take out crit. And they're going to look to go to the follow-up takedown of the support side. They may be able to get it while simultaneously going for Arteezy 2. They'll just take the two for it, looks like. MP claims both of them here. And Universe is nearby, but he is a big, big guy. Might Epi be hard to take out. down, but they're going to charge up the Epi for it. There's the move in. Swing and miss on the Burrow Strike, though. Universe will drop the pit and be glad to walk back in away. And suddenly, here comes the response play. A relocate in, but Secret are already on their way out. But they have spotted Kazoo, and there's going to be a jump in from Sumail. Need a little bit more. There's the wave, and there's the finish. Sumail will pick it up, and now he is on a killing spree here. Goodbye, back at bottom, they will be able to get the crit on the return, making it a one-for-one. -one. Sumail getting some pressure put on him here. The bugs coming out. Kezu in fast. They break the Lincolns and they even get the Burrow strike nice. there. So nice grab nice there play. by Secret. But there is an approach coming from the north on the other side. They're going to stick with this mid lane, but their tier two in the top is a They're lot defending of trouble. This. We see the five man ports coming in. Three on the shrine, two in the back. Jump in from mid one, looking to go for the back lines. He gets the grab on the universe, but he's a big target and they'll settle for crit instead. Drops down the pit, though, and they're going to quickly take out the Sand King. Swap back for mid one, looking for a spot to jump out. Very low on life and mana. Finds a little side pocket to just walk away. Pings are out right now. The Aegis is gone. Secret looking to creep in. Mid one drops illusion. There's going to be the pit. Arteezy scooted in, and now they get the burrow. They get the connection. is going to be focused. Sonic Wave comes out from Sumail. They will be able to reposition. Double back. There's going to be the Agnums. It resets mid one a bit. Now they look to re-engage. Sumail will be able to make it back and away, and it could be EG pulling off right now but no one goes down yet now the relocate back and as they set up there's gonna be the new pit they're making the move in puppies rooted up tries to step out but he's gonna be going down big here epi. comes the epi from kenzu and it's gonna be a big one not big enough to take out sumail but they will get the grab on desai universe looking to go for the dark rift will be able to pull him back out in a way and they back on out kenzu has gone swap back for mp they might be able to get him here and it looks like they could. Mid one though, steps right back in, gets the pull on to Sumail as he pops the blade mail though. Eats a stun and now he's locked in his place and he's gonna be taken out. Gets the deny at the last second, but he does end up going down. MP on retreat. Universe scooting in. They don't want to let him get away so easily and they will get the finish. Pi's also gonna be the victim. Technically a five man wipe here coming out from EG. Kezu Sand King to kind of get that epic burrow strike and set up with the epicenter, but this is not going to be easy as we continue to repeat the amount of sustain, the regen, the tankiness, the, the auras, auras. The, the auras. auras are just. Look, look, look at Sumail, he's got like nine. Oh, oh back jump line, in, quick bomb. Are they going to get the finish? They can't do it, and they're just going to quickly get the XNA onto crit. They will be able to get the mid one refresh, but jumping back now, it is going to be the Sonic Wave MP. Oh, man, he's getting hit real hard here, trying to retreat up north to make it back out, but he might not be able to make it out, toggling his way away from the army of Zai, but there's going to be the jump in from Sumail. Not going to be good enough to get the finish. MP makes it back inside, and it's EG who actually lose two. They have the two supports are fairly squishy, but the others are very tanky. They go re-engage onto Arteezy. Nice two-man burrow from Kezu, but the Lincoln's blocks are from Sumail. Arteezy just so tanky with all these auras. They're getting the turn off onto Pi. They got him down. Mid-1 was able to get pulled back inside the base, but as mentioned, Pi not going to be so lucky here. Sumail 
Looking for a further advancement. Hits up Puppy and goes right back into the tower. Looking to go for the finish. Jump in. Lincoln's going to get popped. They get the pullback grab. Can they get the finish? Locking him into place here. He pops the blade mail. There goes the Epi, but it's a bit off the mark right there as it just heads a bit too south. Now they drop the pit and they look to bring it back in and they'll get the MP takedown. He does have a buyback, but they will be losing another in the form of their SK. And that buyback is going to be coming out here and now as they lose that tier three. The Raxes are exposed. They're going to have to pull out the fortification now. But EG not letting up one bit. They're looking to go for the first real hit inside the base. MP on the backside. Ooh, they get Arteezy shoved to the low ground as he'll be safe. Sumail, though, still stuck inside. Pop of the blade mail, blinks back out and away. And it's Arteezy to fill in. But Look that's it. Mana. They just juggle between each other, constantly healing, constantly patting each other on the back. And they'll be able to get that quick racks and then get the hell out of there. MP might get caught off guard by this again. Let's I see mean, if he does. You just see him bail out, and you figure that they're going to be long gone, maybe back inside their base, but they're not gone very far, MP. They're just right there. And there's no buyback for MP. That and should just be the down. game. Yeah, a minute without a buyback. I think this one is potentially going to be over here. EG back inside the base, looking to go for the Megas, and they got it. Good game. And it's going to be EG who take game number one of this best of three. There was two kills that Secret got in the last... Let's see. In the last 12 minutes, they killed two supports. They weren't able to bring down any of the cores from EG. We saw a punch earlier today with Black. Putting a lot of pressure in the lanes. Crit getting gone on the disruptions there. Yeah. Arkeezy is moving toward further tether. He gets rooted up, though. He should be just okay here. Press the attack coming out. He's still kind of low, though. Oh, man. MP the charge coming out. That way. I think he is going to be going down. This looks to be first blood for secret. They got it done. It's MP who picks it up. They turn back on for Arteezy. They'll get the chains. Where's the bash? High's also here. Yeah, one bash maybe could be a good enough connection, but they're not going to be able to get it. So we'll be striking first. Bottom lane, we catch the back end of it, and it's going to be Universe going down. Hezu dropping it with a big heal, and also and mid lane. Mid. Action all over the map right there. Yeah, mid, and I went looking bottom, and both we of them can't stop dying. yet. Even top lane aggression coming in as they're looking to die forward, trying to get Pi, but here comes Puppy charging in, gets the forgiving bash thereafter. Arteezy looking to go under tower. He's desperate to get Pi. Pi looking to hide within the trees, trying to juke it about, not going to be able to make it away, but Arteezy might have paid with his own life going for this deep commitment. They've already lost crit. MP, yeah, you're not going to be hiding from this one. MP catches, catches him out, takes him down, and suddenly it's Secret up 5-1. to one. Mid gets Hook on mid lane. Mid one gets pulled right into the arms of Zai. Sumil's there, comes in with the Blade Fury, and they should be able to bring him down. They will lose Zai, but he gets the deny. Obviously going to be a bit uh, noticeable from EG that Secret are rotating in, but they're looking to catch him on the way. Zai goes for the hook, but not going to be able to get the connection. Also sweeping in, there's Kezu, there's MP. They're going to get the chains. They're going to get the heal bomb. They're looking to go for Universe here. A wall going to be committed. They're looking to not cross through it. Kezu's going to be forced to go to it, but he pops out the Guardian Angel. Now they put their focus on the crit. They will be able to take him out. A duel going to be coming out from Arteezy, but the heal bomb is there. Huge damage comes out, and he's going to be going down. Nice save as well with the disruption, and they head on out. Zai will be able to get the deny off, and it's going to be a huge secret fight on this one, making it a three-for-one trade. Does look like it, yeah. Going for that very early game fighting build. No point in getting the defusal, so why not? Puppy yep. getting Omni-Slashed, and he is dead. Yo, okay. Quick work right there. Gezu comes in. It's a bit too late to save his captain, but mid one's here, hook too. Nice grab from Zai. Pulls back the Omni Knight here. Is he going to try to get anything off? But there's a follow-up duel, and they're not going to get it done. There's your first duel victory there going the way, but they are going to get the fire back on his Sumail. Mid one pops out the ulti, turns back for Arteezy, takes him down with the raise. Vacuum pullback, though, does come out from our Universe, but it's not going to be good enough. Triple kill for mid one on this one. But here comes Crit in Universe, now going to get surrounded a bit by MP. Shoves him back a bit, Remnants forward, can't quite get the finish. It's not really a BKB kind of a game here against EG, is it? Well, just wants to, oh, oh coming up somehow inside. finds a target onto Puppy there on the back end side, but there is going to be a disruption save. Pulled to the low ground with a vacuum. They'll quickly burst him down along with Pi. Both of the supports going to be dropped on this one. They will get the grab on Desai with the last right quick of mid one. He will peace out on the back of TP. The jig is up. And now Puppy's looking to make his move. Zai is not even happy with this coming in illusion. Goes for the hook onto Puppy. Tries to jump in, looking to go for the duel, but the vacuum of the rest is secret. Looking to make the move in. Wall is going to get dropped. There goes the mid one ulti, and he gets bursted down. That is going to be the drop of two from EG. And now the right clicks come out. Sumail going to get burged up. No Blade Fury for you. Double kill for mid one. A commanding advantage once again here for secret. They will lose MP. Here we go. High ground time. Yeah, and uh, no buyback on uh, Sir Artur. Going to be out for just about 30 seconds without any sort of answer. And that's when Secret looked to make their go. That's going to be a tier three in trouble. Sumail just frantically jumping in, looking to go for the full Omni Slash here. Sets back and 
Well, he gets caught within the other side. As soon as he falls, our EG know that this one is as good as done, and they will call it. And we're going to be going to a game at number three in the semifinal matchup. Yep, good drafting game plan from Sigurd. Yeah. It was just, it was way too hard for EG really to do much in this game. Final game of day two action. This could oh, be the potential he kill is here. Totally pincered in on this one. Another shrapnel is going to be out. A rolling boulder. Pi tries to come into assist, puts himself into trouble, and he will actually be the first blood. Top lane, here comes Zai, looking to charge on in onto MP, caught under the tower right now with the help of the Iron Shell, begins to burn him up. MP turns around, looks to go for the Lucent Beam, and now a couple of TPs are going to be rolling out as Crit rolls in, not going to get quite connection onto the Rolling Boulder, and now is stuck within the trees. Pi links up with MP, and they look to turn and fight. Can they get the takedown to Crit? Yes, they can. They will end up losing MP at the end of it, but Zai could be costing his own life for it. And that will be the takedown. He's isolated enough, and they can get some extra assistance. They might consider making the range. move onto it. Charge on in. There's going to be the bump. Sumail's heading over, but there is a TP coming out onto his shrine. EG should be able to see this. And with Pi coming in and with the help of the shrine, they will conclude their pursuit. And now comes Puppy rotating in. Hits them both up with the curse. I don't know. They're going to be moving into their own shrine TP. here. And Arteezy's come to play now. Gets off some good shots. That's going to be Pi going down. Kezu looking to rush in, but Sumail's hitting him with the headshots. Eventually, we'll be able to get off the nuke and get the finish back at mid lane and charge back. Universe trying to keep away from Puppy, but not going to be good enough. Double kill for Arteezy on that one, and this game is even. Four to four. It looks like they know something is up, but they see the pull. Puppy's nearby, pops out the curse. Arteezy looks to move in and make it jump. There's going to be the rolling boulder in and the charge. Lots of hate on for the silencer. Eclipse comes out, almost able to get the crit kill, but not going to be good enough. And it's also going to be MP going down. Arteezy takes another life and gets the double kill 4-0 at the same moment. They are going to be able to get a response. Feels like secret reaching at that point. My god, Pi eating a lot of damage from that mighty stack, and EG are in the neighborhood. They shouldn't fight at the shrine still. Yeah, they are they strong, but use the shrine, but this is still pretty awkward for both sides. Zai wants to go in though. He's thinking about it, charges out, gets the bump onto MP, goes for the ulti, bumps him back a bit. RP onto two, but a vacuum wall response from Universe. Jumping comes out, crits ready to play with a magnetized. Not gonna get the most connection, but Damage has been done as Luna's going to be going down. A follow beyond takedown. Godlike. A triple kill comes out for Arteezy already beyond godlike. Are it's you only 13 serious? minutes in. And here we go. They, EG doesn't even want to go for the Radiant shrines just yet. They see that Secret kind of pushed out of their base with that ward that they placed in the top jungle area. And this is their potential to go for another tier 3 tower. Yeah, while Glyph is down. Between Arteezy and Sumail, these guys are just sieging. And they will take down the tier three without without even having to step inside. Shadowblade on mid one. But yeah, Shadowblade jump in. RP only catches onto one. A force will step him aside, and they're going to get the jump on him instead with help from Crit. Mid one goes down almost as fast as he jumps in for the play. Global comes out, but if it was to save mid one, it's unfortunately a bit too late. Now they look to open up onto the remaining racks here. Two racks is quick to go down. This game might be that, over, just over in yeah. a hurry. Twenty minutes, and Secret really have no answer at all. Arteezy with the instant force staff on his teammate there was, yeah, it was actually instant. So RP was expended with the Shadow Blade first shown, and they claimed the Raxes anyway. I don't know. They got the Ghost. That Frost attack is pretty damn good. And he eats it right away. Okay, well, <laughs> it's nice seeing you, Ghost. Jump here we go, in. The duel here we go. The blade first mail. duel of the game, and it looks like the damage could be awarded to Arteezy on this one. Mid one jumps in afterward, oh but it's a God. big vacuum wall combo comes out, and it just shoves Secret into GG territory, and it is over. Just like that, Evil Geniuses will advance Secret to the lower bracket. At least you got to see a nice wombo combo there at the end. He yeah. got the ball. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history, yeah